G-string here. I am updating my mobile power station from the batteries I had on it, which were 100 amp hour AGMs, to these new inexpensive Chinese lithium batteries. And it's been, well, interesting. First, and most of it has been my fault, not proper planning. So, we start out with, I had a cord right here, much too short. So, I had to get the battery closer, and then, of course, the other one would have to be too long, and they're crossed. <sighs> I know. Anyway, so, I have the battery connected to my 5,000 watt inverter. It's an Ames inverter. I've discussed it before, but there it is, and it works extremely well. So, what I've done so far, and we're not done yet, is I use the M8 connections, just like you would on a regular car battery, and that I, I like that as a part of these batteries. So I put that one on, then I put another one on top of that, a regular bolt, so I have two. This one goes to the inverter, hopefully you can see that. And this one here goes to my second battery. Same thing over here, M8 connection. Might want to tighten that one up a little bit. And then one on top, which comes down to my, let's go, oh. Since you saw that already, it's my battery charger charging up my lithium system. Okay, so it goes down to, hopefully you can see that, this is the second battery. Now, it was unfortunate because it did not come with the M8 connectors. So I had to put regular bolts on them to hold it down, which it had the M8. Then I got a third battery. These are working out so well. And it does have the M8 connection. Isn't that amazing? See that third one there? Now, here's the problem. The problem is the bolts that come, right? And the bolts are too small to hold two of these. That's right. Too small to hold two of these. So I went to my local hardware store. Okay, Mrs. Shoestring went to the local hardware store and bought some that would fit. Problem is, they're going to be a bit too long. Because what I have to do is take some more of my connectors and connect this battery to this battery. So I can have 300 amp hours. So we're still working our way through this. But at the moment, as you can see, we have a good connection. And once it gets all charged up, I will have 200 amp hours on my mobile cart. And when I'm done, I'm going to have 300 amp hours on my mobile cart. Once I find a screw that will work. Cables. I have plenty of them. Just need bolts that will fit. Okay, that was just an update to let everyone know what was going on. I know some people are interested in how I do this on a shoestring. Um, many people were telling me lithium batteries from China are just as good as any you get here and are extremely inexpensive for lithium batteries. Realize that. These are inexpensive for lithium batteries. Not nearly as inexpensive, of course, if you just got a lead-acid battery, which is what my main bank is made up of. Okay, so I'm going to continue on. I want to let everyone see this because I may not get this completed this weekend. And I'll give you an up another update as we get to it. Shoestring here has an update for you. I have found a solution to my initial problem of the bolts being too short. It appears the bolts are different sizes. With these batteries, it has the M8 connections. The battery bolt is longer. 
battery bolt is longer. With these, this just one that came that has, well, I will call the incorrect type of connection. It doesn't have an M8. It has an M6. It's short. So only hold one cable. Where these longer ones will hold two quite easily. So my solution yes. is use the M8 connection up here. Come down to the second one with the longer bolt and use two. And then the third battery that has only the short one, then we only need to connect one and that will work. So temporarily, problem solved. And hopefully it will stay solved for a while when I get my fourth and final battery, which, you know, living on a shoestring, if you're going to buy these types of batteries, even though they are relatively inexpensive compared to lithium batteries, I do have to save up for them. So, while I'm saving up for the fourth battery, hopefully, I'll get one that has an M8 connection. Put it right here, slide this one back, and my cart will be all updated and ready to go. Please, if you like these videos, comment about them, ask questions, and of course, subscribe and share. Shoestring out.